Hi everyone, welcome to Yogi Bad's uh, Fitness 30 Day Challenge. So this is the uh, second day. So the first time or the first day we did hamstring stretch and for today we'll be working out your inner thigh muscles, your um, adductor muscles. Fight at home, but if you want to travel, then go alone. Yeah, what's the point in us if I never know? Yeah, if you're gonna leave, I'm gonna let you go. So, you extend your left leg sideways and bring the other leg, the foot close to your inner thigh. So, again, you point your foot up and see that you you pull your seat bones backwards, so you can really uh, sit upright. So, here you extend the left hand towards the the foot, you can either grab hold of your foot or you can hold your uh, the big toe or the edge of your foot. If you want, you can micro bend the knee if you if you feel too much stress going through your leg muscles. So just keep your chest uh, facing to the front, and then see if you can extend your right hand over the head, and then slowly bend. So the lower you go down, the more you can feel the stretch here on the inner thigh and of course the hamstring. So we'll stay here for three breaths. Again, you breathe in and breathe out through your nose. Now, if you feel um, tension on the neck or your shoulder muscles, maybe you just move down chin to your um, left shoulder. And then coming up, you extend your arms over the head. And then bring the right leg parallel to the long edge of your mat. You flex your foot. Then you take your hands to the foot. Now, slowly walk your hands forward. And maybe you can just stay on your forearms or maybe walk your hands as far as you can. And then maybe the head can touch the floor. So it's up to you, just go as far forward as you can, as long as you're not lifting the left sitting bone off the floor. Just feel the, the right hip stretch. You can make sure you're bending or you're hinging from the hip joint. And then take your chest up and then you bend the left and extend your right. Again, you have to try your best to pull your thigh bones apart. So the more you bring the, the thighs as wide apart as you can, the more you can feel the inner thigh muscles stretch. Again, take your toe, either you grab the big toe or the edge of your foot, reach the left hand over the head, now spin your chest leftward to really open and maximize the lateral stretch of the body. Now you pull your leg down and continue extending the left arm. Again, you can move your chin to your shoulder. So for some, you can maybe go lower until the left hand touches the, the foot. Now coming up, arms over the head, then again walk that left foot. Now forward, power to the top edge or long edge of your mat, then begin to slowly walk your hands forward. Stay here and keeping the spine long. Then continue going down as long as your seat bones are on the floor and as long as you are not uh, forcing anything. And then take your hands back to the center. And then this time you bring the soles of your feet together. You take the soles of your feet closer to your head, but if your knees are really high, then you have to take your feet forward. Again, pull your glutes, the buttocks muscles out, so you can roll the hip bone uh, forward. You can bounce the legs a few times to loosen out your hip, hip muscles. Now, if you're ready, you take your toes, lift the chest, and then try to Roll the hip bone forward and see if you can bend, moving your chest closer to the floor without rounding the back too much or without uh, straining the lower back. So breath by breath and inch by inch, see if you can go lower, increasing the stretch of your inner thighs. Well, you can use the elbows to press the legs downward so that you can increase the stretch of these poses. And 
hand and you lift your chest up. Then take your knees together. You can take your hands by your hips and then set your feet hip width apart and just reach your wiper your, your thigh bones or your legs. And we go to all fours. So set your palms below your shoulders and the knees below the hip. Okay. Now slide your right leg sideways. So in line with your knee, then you come up and extend your arms upward. So from here you turn your right foot out and then you move your hip towards the towards the foot. Okay, let me face the front so you have a better view of the pose. So here we are we are pushing the hip down to the side and the more we do that the uh, the deeper the stretch uh, going through on the inner thigh. Now you can take the forearm here on the thigh bone or you can just take your palm on the floor if you're really flexible on your hip. Now you turn your right chest out, fully open your front body and see that your hip is not going backwards. So you push it as far as you can towards the, the midline of the mat. So the arm again can extend here over the head. You can look at your palm or maybe chin into your shoulder. And then from here you come up to the center, you straighten the, the right leg, turn your foot in and go down towards the other side of the mat. You take your hand on the floor, again align your shoulder and uh, the wrist. And from here you lift, you lift the leg sideways and then bend it backward and hold your foot. So once you have the foot, you pull it backward, opening your chest and allowing the front right side to stretch. Now you can look up or just look down to the floor. So continue arching the spine, pushing the, the foot away from the body without jamming the lower back. So you have to pull the navel in. And then release the leg, set it back to the floor, and then come back up to the center. And then bend your right leg, take your palms to the floor, and then turn the left leg backward. Swing your right leg back and up. So rearrange your hands below your shoulders. Then lift the leg as high as you can. On the exhale, move your knee forward to your chest, rounding the back. Then activating the or sucking in your belly. Then take the foot forward. You move your hip as low as you can. You can take the back knee a little bit backward if you need space to go down. Then again, you have to track your knee and the heel. And Lift the knee up to a round slouch. Ground that left foot and turn the toe uh, 45 or 30 to 45 degrees uh, outward. Then come up to wire pose one. You extend your arms over the head and then see that your left hip is turning forward. And the more you sink your hip, the more your inner thighs will stretch. Now look forward and stay here for three deep breaths. Maintain the upright posture of the body. Maintain the long and deep breaths. Now then take your hands to the floor. Step your right foot backward to a plank pose, keeping your whole body straight. Now you lower down to your half plank, bending the elbows beside your ribs or take your knees down for easier, easier option. Pressing the feet, lifting the chest, creating more opening on the front of the body. Then tuck your toes, lift the hip, and go to your down dog. You pull your shoulders backward, pull the hip upward. So again, this is your first down dog, so you might want to bicycle the feet, or bend the knees, pull the hip back and down, re-extend and bend, or move your hips side to side. If you feel okay with your bows, you be still for three deep breaths. Now then lower your knees down on the floor, then slide your left leg laterally. So again, align the foot with your knee, then come up to the gate pose. We'll be facing again to the front so, you th so that you have uh, better uh, visibility of the pose. So, Bend your right leg, sorry, it's the left leg, sideways, and the more you go down, the more you can feel uh, these pose. So forearm down, on the thigh, or palm on the floor. That depends on the stretch or the sensation happening on the pose. If it's too much, then don't go uh, deeper. 
if you don't feel enough, if you, if you feel less, then you take your hand on the floor. Then you extend the left or right hand over the head. So slowly squeeze your glutes, squeeze in your shoulder blades to bring more opening on your chest. Now then, return to the center, straighten your left leg and take your right hand down below your shoulder and in line with your knee. Raise the left leg up and bend the leg, hold the foot. And once you have the foot, squeeze in your shoulders together to bring the chest out, then pull the leg backward and feel the stretch on the front of the left leg. You can look down or up. Again, take a few cycles. And then you release that left leg down on the floor. Take your palms uh, below your shoulders. And again, turn your right leg backward. Lift the left leg up as high as you can. But again, balance the sides of your hip. Then exhale, knee forward, rounding the spine. And step the foot between the bones. You can readjust the back leg so that you have space to sink the hip without uh, bringing the knee too far forward. So always keep the heel and the knee on the same line. And then you come up to your uh, runner's lunge and then ground the heel down, come up to wire pose one. You square your hip as you bring the body upright and then keep turning the left or pulling the left thigh bone backward to its hip uh, socket. Reaching the arms, here you can look up or look forward. Also make sure that you keep pushing the right heel down to maintain the um, length of the back leg. Hands down on the floor, then take your left leg backward to your plank position. For easier option, you can take your knees down, bending the elbows halfway, then lift the chest up. On the exhale, curl the toes, lift the hip back, pulling it as high as you can. So it's like an inverted V pose, so you have to lengthen the spine, you have to stretch the sides of the body, and if you can, fully straighten the legs. But if you feel the back begins to, to round or curve, you can just bend the knees a little bit. Now look forward and begin to take your feet to the top of your mat. Hands on your shins or on the floor, look forward and lengthen. Exhale, you bend over. On the inhale, you lift the chest, keeping the back straight. Arms over the head, and try to stand tall, stand straight. Then exhale, lower your hands beside you. Take a cycle of breath here. You inhale through your nose. And exhale through your nose. Now you extend your arms up on the next inhale. Then exhale, you hinge from the hip. Keep the spine long, reach the floor. Again, just let the head fall naturally. Look forward and make the back longer. You bend the legs, hands down, and go to plank. Lower the body halfway. If you cannot sustain the uh, good posture, then just take your knees down or just drop all the way down to the floor. Inhale, lift your chest, arching the spine backward. Then exhale, tap your toes, and go to your down dog or inverted V pose. Have three breaths here, long and deep. Keep grounding through your heels, turning the toes in, rolling the elbows out away from the head. Now look forward and step the right foot at the middle of your palms. Turn the left foot out. Then trap the knee up over the heels, then come up to warrior pose. Two. So here you align the hip with your knee, or if you want more stretch here on the inner thighs, you can have your feet wider and sink your hip more. So hands fall to the floor, keep the spine vertical and upright. So you align your chin or the crown of the head down to your sternum and down to the table. Now you straighten your right leg, you can readjust the, the feet. And keep turning the left thigh inward, the right thigh outward, but that should not um, turn the hip. You have to keep the hip facing uh, the front. Then take your hand down on the shin bone, then the left hand up. 
excuse me. Now notice if you can go lower, you hinge more from the hip joint and maybe take your hand on the floor, maybe palm flat on the floor or just the bow of your palm on the chin, the left hand up. See that you elongate both sides of the body, not just the top. Or to better align the pose is to visualize a wall behind you and try to fix or fit the back against that uh, imaginary wall. Now you look down and re-bend your right leg, readjust the left foot backward to warrior pose two. Then you will reverse this pose. You extend your right hand up. Then you just glide the left hand over the thumb. So the lower you go, the more you can feel the side body stretch. Then again, just maintain the hip and the knee at the same plane to keep the stretch. Back to your warrior pose two. So from here, you straighten your right leg and turn your foot in. Then take your hands on your waist. You can readjust the feet a little closer. So make the edges of your feet parallel. Roll your shoulders back and down and try to open your chest. The next exhale, you hinge from the waistline and move your head down. Now have your palms on the floor, shoulder width apart. Look forward, inhale. On your exhale, crawl or walk the hands between the feet. Then maybe move the top of the head down on the floor. If you cannot touch the head down, that's fine. Don't force the back to round just to go lower. But if you can easily take the head down on the floor, then you need to take your feet closer. So try to extend through the side body, elongate through the top of the head. Now you push yourself up. Again, micro bend the knees a little bit, hands on your waist, and keep your back straight. Lift yourself up. Now turn your right foot out again, bending your right leg, then find your warrior pose too and take your palms back to the top of your mat. Roll the left leg bone in, send your right leg back to a plank pose. You lower down to your half plank, then push the floor, then elevate the chest, sink your hip. Going back to your down knee. Now we'll be taking the left leg between the palms, right foot in, come up to your warrior pose, Get hands parallel to the floor, have more space on the feet if you need more a stretch of the leg muscles. Now you extend the left leg, keeping your hip and your chest open. You extend the body laterally, flexing the left hip joint. Then you can have your hand on the shin or go lower. If you want, you can take your palm on the floor. Just make sure that the body is, the body and the hip are in line with your feet. Again, you look down and fold that left knee 90 degrees, back to your warrior pose and then we will reverse the pose. You extend the left hand over the head, then slide your right hand down. You activate your glutes so you keep the uh, hip uh, stretching. And then back to your warrior pose to straighten the Left leg and turn your toes in. This time interlace the fingers. So I'll be facing the front, front side because I don't have a space to bend here. Now, shoulders in, extend the elbows and try to open your chest. Now you bend forward, moving your head as slow as you can. Then pushing the arms outward. You can continue extending the body as long as you don't stress the back or the lower back. Micro bend the knees, pull yourself upright. And again, turn your left foot out, bend the knee, going back to your warrior pose on two. Then take your palms on the floor. Again, do your usual flow, the plank to a low plank. Going up to your back bend, up though. So squeeze your shoulder blades inward, broadening the chest. Tuck your toes and lift the hip bone up. To squeeze through your front thighs, your hip uh, muscles. Now you fold the legs, look forward and take your feet on the top of your mat. Hands on your shins, again extend the spine, then exhale, you bend. Inhale, you lift the chest, arms over the head, stand straight, 
then exhale, lower your hands on the hip. Inhale, bring the arms up again to lengthen. Exhale, bend forward. Look forward, create more stretch on the, on the back. Bend the legs, palms to the floor, and go back to your back pose. So keep your arms strong, activate your core muscles, and lower down to your half push-up. Keep pushing through the heels and lift your chest. Then go back to your downward facing dog. Now you step your right foot forward on top of your mat. Hip in line with the knee, so runner's lunge. Look forward and try to extend through the sides of the body. So turn your right, I'm um, sorry, the left thigh bone inward and ground through the ball of your foot. Now keeping the legs steady, you come up to your high lunge. And just stay here for one breath. And then keeping the right leg strong, shift the weight forward and lift the back leg and hug your knee, the left leg to your chest. Now you hold your foot or hold the shin, then straighten the leg forward. You parallel to the foot. Now inhale, on your exhale, you pull yourself down or maybe head down to your shin. Just try to stay still, stay strong on the standing leg. And then come up, hug the knee to your chest. So here we have two choices. You can just hold the knee if you're tight on your inner thighs and hamstring, you just hold the knee, then bring the leg to the side. So in line with your hip, then the right hand here. But if you're okay with your leg, extend it uh, forward and bring it or sideways, sorry I don't have space here on the side, so I just uh, bend the leg and turn it out. So don't pull the hip backward, don't move it sideways, you just have to keep your hip uh, over your foot. So again, align your joints, tuck your head, uh, your shoulders, your hip over the foot. Now bringing the leg back to center and stepping it backward to your high lunge. Again, elongate the spine, Extend through the tips of your fingers, and then going down to the floor. Take your right leg back again to your plank pose. Lower down to half push-up. Going out to your up dog. So make sure to press the hip as low as you can and push the floor, keeping the elbows straight. And open your chest. Curl the toes and exhale, and return to your down dog. Now you bring the left leg to the top of your mat, between the palms, sink the hip, in line with your knees, and again turn or spin the back thigh in to balance the massage of your hip. And make sure the left foot is pointing forward and the left knee is in line with your two middle toes, because that will prevent any side-to-side -side movement of the knee. And then come up to your high lunge for one breath, be still and be strong. Then ground through the left foot, lean forward and hug your right knee toward the belly. You can take your shin, you can take the foot. Again, it depends on how flexible the uh, back thighs or the hamstring is, and then bend forward. Again, be still, ground through your uh, foot in your left foot. And then cutting up. Straighten the body, then you take your left hand on your waist. Easiest option is to hold the knee and bring it to the side so you have to clench or flex your glutes as you take the leg sideways. Or you can extend the leg and bring it out so you can in line with your hip. Then bring it forward, release the leg and step it backward as you bend the left leg. 90 degrees. Going down again to your on your palms to your plank pose. Lower down to half plank. So again, if you are tired, tired already, wherein you cannot align the chest and the hip as you go down on this pose, better take the knees down. Then you push your chest upright, tuck your toes and go to down dog. 
And then you have your knees or have your knees down on the floor, sit on your heels and crawl the hands forward, resting the head on the mat. So just dropping the body between the thighs and relax here. Now you take your hands backward. Knees together, bring the hip to one side. Then extend the legs forward. Now you slowly lie down. And then hug your knees to your chest. You pull the thighs down closer to the body to decompress the spine. And then take the soles of your feet together and just lower the feet on the floor. So you can have your hands on the thighs and let the weight of your hands pull the legs down to open your hip more. Or you can just rest the hands beside the hip. But it's up to you. Maybe you can take your right hand on the chest, the left palm on the belly. And just notice the, the rise and the fall of your chest and belly. Also turn your belly in so that you lengthen the lower back. Relax, observe what's going on with the body. Observe what's going on with your breath. Now, okay, just keep that left leg as it is and then hug your right leg down to your chest. Then take your big toe with your hands if you, if you cannot hold the toe and if you hold the toe and you cannot extend the leg, you just have to micro bend the knee and just try to press uh, the hip, uh, the left hip down so that you can feel the inner thighs. But of course if you can fully straighten the leg, that would give you more uh, stretch, deeper stretch on your inner thigh and hamstring. So don't let the hip lift as you take the leg down. So you have to pull the right hip or the left hip down. So you bend the leg and then take the other one with your hand and extend it out. Oops, I have no space here so I just bend the leg and then again take the right hand uh, on the hip joint and pull the hip down as the leg moves down on the floor. So you can just notice the inner thighs here stretching. Also, see that you're not arching the spine as you take the legs uh, downward to the sides. You pull your navel in. Or squeezing or flexing the glutes will help you uh, stretch the inner thighs more without overarching the lower back. Now release the pose and then again have your knees to your chest. Now take your knees down to the left side. Then extend your right hand to the right and just let the hip turn completely so you can feel the right hip, you can feel the uh, right lower back and the right chest getting stretched. Now back to the center, then take your knees with your right hand and bring it down to your right side as the left hand extend to the opposite side. Take the legs together and extend the legs forward. Now have your feet hip width apart or a little bit wider, maybe as wide as the mat. You lift your hip bone and extend the lower back by pushing it, uh, the sit bones pushing it, pushing forward. Now hands on your sides and try to uh, externally rotate your arm bones to ground your shoulders. You can move your head side to side to let go of any tension of the neck muscles. Again, it's time for the body to rest, to feel and absorb the benefits of the practice. So what you should do is to just stay still, completely still. And 
And if the mind begins to wander, just bring your awareness back to your rest. Keep going back to the breath. Now keep still and take a rest. over the head, take your legs together and stretch on the final thing. On the exhale, bend the knees, hug your thigh bones down to your chest, roll to your right. And slowly come. Again, thank you everyone for spending your time with me. I hope you had a